Are you wondering how to stop wasting money on bottled water while traveling in your RV? Are not adding so much more plastic waste in the environment? Paying not insignificant amount of money on true away filters? Or just wanting to have good and safe drinking water? If yes, I'll show you how to get all of that and more by installing a filtration system to your RV. Hi, my name is Danny Grondin from Leisure Travel Van Enthusiast. I do some videos to showcase things or accessories that I think are very useful in enhancing the RV lifestyle in a Leisure Travel Van RV. All the goodies, tools and accessories are listed in the video description box below. If you want, you can like and subscribe for future content. So let's get going. Today I want to show you another project and this new project is the installation of the Acuva Aeromax 2.0 UV LED water purifier. In a nutshell, my problem with the drinking water in my RV is that I want good water to drink and I'm pretty fed up to buy bottled water or having to deal with water pitcher like the Brita. Those pitcher take a lot of space in my fridge and also bottled water is not that great for the environment. So for years I was looking for a good solution. I talk with my nephew who have a master degree in chemistry and also work in water filtration. He helped me a lot and I also done some research on the internet and I have decided to discard the reverse osmosis filters primarily due to some report by the World Health Organization. I'm going to link the article in the info section of this video. I decided to go with the Acuva system. The information provided on their website was very good. 12 volt power source or even 120. Also, I happen to like those nice pictures on their website too. The fact that the system uses a combination of filtration and then the water is blasted with a lead UV lamp to kill bacteria and viruses. The company states that up to 99.999% of those nasty pathogens are destroyed. That's pretty good for me. They show a bunch of certification combined with a good warranty. The little faucet looks good too and the installation seems pretty simple. Here is what you're gonna get once you receive the package from the company. The following installation is just a general guideline. Be sure you are comfortable playing with electricity before attempting to do it. In doubt, just ask for help. The first thing to do is planning the installation. Here is a little drawing of my Murphy bed. I will install the little faucet just beside the kitchen faucet that I have. Then I will install the filter a couple of inches beside on the left. I will hook the 12 volt there and then connecting the water lines just underneath the kitchen sink. Removing all the drawers and the panel have helped a lot. This piece of metal holds the filter in place. It's about 12 inch wide, so I will cut a piece of wood about 3 8 to half an inch. That would be the backbone for my filter installation. It's pretty neat. It's perfect. But things get messy pretty fast. Take a good look at the back thing there. It's called split loom. I will use it to cover all the wires with that loom and then use those clamps to hold them in place. From the filter to the 12 volt connection. 
The manufacturer recommends using a fuse protection. It's just a 12 volt 3 amp slow blow inline fuse. That fuse will be connected to the 12 volt positive wire. I have labeled all the wires to make sure I don't make mistakes. Planning to connect those two wires there just in the back of the top drawer in the kitchen. Those wires are labeled with numbers from LTV. I wasn't really sure if those wire was the one I was looking for. I sent an email to LTV but then I remember Sandra Johnson. She told me those wonderful words. She even sent me the electrical blueprint available also from LTV. So those was really my wires to make my connection. It's time for the electrical connection. I will show you the tool I use. Those are wonderful Klein crimper. I really love those pliers. I will list all of the tools I use below in the video description. Those are affiliate links and I earn about three or four dollars per month out of those links. This is a medium quality tool, a wire stripper. It does its job nicely. It's a little bit short for my demonstration. I decided to go with the Wago 222 lever type connector because those are UL rated for 120 up to 600 volt and they are well rated for places with vibrations. My brother is an electrician and he just don't use them but he told me that they are quite nice but expensive. So we are going to use those two wires. The yellow one is the 12 volt positive and the white one is the 12 volt negative. My wires from the filter are there, the red one and the black one. The red one would be used for the 12 volt positive and the black one will be used for the 12 volt negative. On the red one, I will add my inline fuse protection with the 3 amp slow blue fuse and of course everything will be labeled. I will use the Wago just cutting the yellow wire, stripping both hands, connecting everything using the simple lever on the Wago, test everything to make sure everything is snug just by pulling wires. Now it's time for the white one. Same thing. I will cut the white wire, strip them and just connect all three wires right into the second Wago 222 connector, just like that. We can see the actual installation, the two yellow wire and the red one and the one on the left show the two white wire and the black wire from the filter itself. Now we are going to get busy with the water lines. The kit provides shock by type connector as of a T and from that T we have the one quarter inch stop valve that feeds the water filter. There is no way around it. We need a PEX cutter to make sure the cut is straight to avoid any leaks. We have to avoid any scratch on the pipe itself too. And with all those fitting, we just need to push pipe and tube in firmly to make sure everything is secure. If you have some leaks, everything can be removed and redone. There is, here is the finished water connection. We need now to install the two holder for the pre-filter. It's pretty easy. It's just two plastic brackets to install below the water filter. Now we are going to install the faucet. I have chosen where I want to install the faucet. I took my 3 quarter inch old saw, then making a pilot hole, and then use a slight rocking motion to drill the 3 quarter inch hole, and everything was very easy to do. Here is my final result. Everything is secured in place, protected by split loom.
it's pretty attractive. There is a little glow showing that the unit is really working. It's a smart faucet. So when you open up the faucet, the UV light is also turned on automatically. I highly recommend it. The water tastes fantastic. I should have had this filter a long time ago. If you are interested to see one of my best way to reduce water consumption in an RV, just watch my video on water preservation link below. I'm still blown away by this item. Thank you folks. See you next time.